truth cannot be hidden, folks. It is embedded in the geometry of the photos. I assembled a few stereoscopic photos, as you can see here, and um, looking at them, I noticed the mountains or hills in the background look flat. I couldn't believe it. It is so obvious. And uh, so I decided to actually use photogrammetry to verify what my eyes are seeing. But why focus on Apollo 17? Well, I have been um, imaging the Apollo 11 and 17 landing sites with uh, my new telescope and I have increased resolution tremendously. And then I thought, let me try to find some scale, confirm the scale on the moon so I can determine the distance to the moon more accurately, perhaps. With my new telescope, I have been able to create these incredibly vibrant images of the moon. It is simply incredible, folks. It is an 11-inch diameter smith cassegrain telescope. And uh, part of the magic is also the camera, but then I've developed a proprietary processing uh, workflow, which I will share in a separate um, video. But have a look at this. This is Apollo 11. Notice the resolution here. It is incredibly higher than before. And have a look at this. This is a close-up of the Apollo 17 landing zone, the literal Taurus Valley. Notice in the inset the monochrome image that I took. Um, it is super high resolution. This new algorithm is amazing, just incredible. Um, but yeah, look at all the vibrant colors. The moon is just incredible. They've been showing us black and white images from the moon. And people think the moon is just uh, a desolate black and white sort of a landscape, but that is not the case. And that's exactly where they're hiding. And just in case you think I'm exaggerating colors, have a look at their model. The Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter has a narrow angle camera, high resolution, and a wide angle. And if you apply the Hapke model to the wide angle, you get... Uh, this uh, scenery right here and notice how weird it looks i mean my colors are nicer more intuitive i don't think the hapke model is that accurate but you know you make up your own mind in addition to the color being very strange, the resolution is rather poor. The lunar orbiter should be within a few kilometers, maybe 50, 80, I don't know, kilometers of the surface. And I can generate higher resolution color images from the Earth's surface looking through the turbulent atmosphere. So that says something, somebody is hiding something. They don't want us to know something about the moon. The lunar excursion module has a diameter of about 14 feet, so it is a perfect calibrated scale on the moon's surface that we can use. The resolution of my imaging has gotten so good that I started to wonder whether I could actually determine the distance to the moon based on the scale of the lunar excursion module. The lambs are actually in the photos, but they're so hard to find. I must have spent at least two hours or so scrolling and zooming and panning in the image until I finally found it. Wow, it is there in the images. And um, then using the size of the lamb, we can find the distances between craters and work our way up in scale. Finally, the most exciting tool is to extract scale from the Apollo lunar surface photographs by using photogrammetry um, software. And that's when I discover 
their tricks because you cannot hide the truth. It is embedded in the photos. The Apollo 17 photographic record is perfect for this analysis because, as you can see, there are a number of prominent um, background hills that will be used for scale. I imported a few uh, photographs into Metashape and got results within minutes. It is very easy to use. And the results just blew my mind. Have a look at this, folks. Wow, look at that background, it is so close, oh my god, and it looks circular about the center, you gotta be kidding me, this can only mean one thing folks, we are dealing with a studio, this imagery was taken in a studio, the distances here to, the, to that specific hill should be like on the order of miles, not 200 feet wow unbelievable this is irrefutable evidence that the photography was shot in a studio so where do the backdrop photos come from are these scenes from the earth perhaps now notice here, I'm taking a regular photo and changing the level slightly. And you can see that clear demarcation between the foreground, which is very close, and then in the background they have photography. And it's so deceiving, like if you just look at one photo, you know, you can't really tell much. Um, but yeah, when you put photos together into this software and it extracts geometry, then you reveal the lies, okay? This is not photography from the lunar surface because the geometry doesn't add up to what Elrock sees. Which brings up another point. Is Elrock perhaps misleading us? Which is why I got into astrophotography and super resolution to determine and validate what they're feeding us and in the next video i'll show you how the japanese have fallen flat on their faces truth shall overcome my friends and you know why because lies and errors take way more energy to hide and so truth is the simplest and has a resilience and just bubbles to the surface and eventually yes like the bible says it shall be proclaimed from the housetops in this case youtube <laughs> god bless you all thanks for watching